And welcome back to another edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series. And uh, this is starting to sound repetitive since I've done this for so long, but we're here taking a look at the Indiana Pacers. And uh, why is Paul George? I mean, I suppose he sort of regressed compared to Jimmy Butler. I don't know. The rating, 2K ratings haven't always been so good. His efficiency went up this year. Uh, Paul George is um, likely going to go to the Lakers. He says he loves Indy, but at the same time, he I think it's just going to turn out to be that sort of shack between Orlando and the Lakers. Except this time it's going to be Paul George with the Pacers or the Lakers. Because the Pacers, they have Miles Turner and uh, also Jesse is a solid player, but... Paul George keeps on like reminiscing about how he misses or he keeps on reminiscing about that old Pacers team that was all about their grit, grind, and defense and how he misses that team. So I mean let's see. Paul George I mean the Pacers they're focusing more on offense. They've been doing that for the past couple of years, for the past two seasons, and it really, it really hasn't been much success. They acquired Thaddeus Young and Jeff Teague, solid players, but I mean they're just not in a very good situation either. If they are able to trade Paul George and get good value, then that's kind of where they should. Oops keep doing that that's kind of where they should go if you ask me because he has a year left on his contract they still have cap space so I mean maybe somebody wants to come play for Paul George but who will it be who will it be because if they're gonna get somebody then they're gonna have to trade they're gonna have to get a DN3 type of shooting guard that's really if they were to get a guy like that then that would fit well with um, Jeff Teague and I think he can play he can play off of Paul George well and then you have solid players and then just improve upon your depth you can maybe fight fight a little bit better with the Cavs so they're either gonna have to improve their roster mightily this offseason or they're going to have to trade Paul Joris. That's just simply where I see them going because in terms of draft picks, I mean, they have this pick. Maybe they can get Harry Giles, but will he really be steering the part? I mean, he'll probably improve upon your depth, but like they need to start. If they're going to keep Paul Joris, they got to win a championship. Like they got to compete for a championship right now. So they're going to have to make a lot of moves, they're going to have to make some maneuvers, because they're not, their cap space, their cap situation is actually pretty good, because, yeah, Al Jefferson is only making $10 million compared to where other guys are making, like, way more money than him. He's not good defensively at all, look at, he's not even a B, he's not even a B minus defensively, alright? He's not even a B minus defensively. So, he's just really just an interior score that comes off the bench. And you know that's fine. And you have Miles Turner already. So they're gonna have to improve their roster mightily, or they're gonna have to trade Paul George. That's just plain and simple. I mean, as for like contracts, like I said, they're not in such a bad salary cap situation. Jeff Teague is a guy that I'm sure they would like to have back because he's a pretty solid point guard. But they're gonna have to. As well as, as well as you know, adding another piece, or they're gonna have to add pieces that can help, that can play off of Paul George well, and then eventually compete. Well, not eventually, but soon try and keep compete for a title. That's what they're gonna have to do. That's just that's just what they, that's just the direction that they have to go in. So I mean, the Pacers are in such a sticky, sticky situation. They either. They should either trade Paul George or, or, like I said, this whole video just either trade Paul George or improve their roster mightily, because there's still much work to do. 
Anyways, yeah, this was a, a bit of a shorter one. So, that'll do it for this edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series. And uh, the next team we will be taking a look at will be the Milwaukee Bucks. So, yeah, I will see you then, because then after that we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 more teams to go through. So, I will be seeing you then. Hopefully, I'm able to finish this soon enough. So, I'll see you then.